Since this is my first time out with the fully loaded trailer, I'm just going uh, slow and carefully. It's a little windy today. Hopefully this won't keep up or get worse this evening. Right now it's a really pretty day. Um, I'm guessing it's close to 55 degrees. Tonight we should be down in the 20s. That's all Fahrenheit. camping gear on here and uh, everything's pulling nicely so we've gone a couple of miles um, we're gonna head into some pretty heavily wooded areas here coming up and uh, some Jeep trails and a short maybe mile section of uh, single track I believe it's a beautiful day we've got really nice scenery and uh, the temperatures really nice right now so we're gonna head up this trail here to the top and then we got some more downhill. But uh, quite a bit of uphill so far and it's pulling, pulling nicely. Um, tracks really well. I don't even have to look back to see where the wheels are gonna be. Um, but I will say that I definitely feel the weight behind me on these climbs. It makes it uh, much more difficult, but I'm carrying an awful lot of stuff. And today I'm pulling with the Cyrusher Ranger, 750 watt hub drive. I've got a ton of videos on this bike if you go to my YouTube channel and look those up if you're interested. So trailer's doing well. Okay, we've got a sunset almost ready to start here. Um, I hiked about a mile due west of where the camp is set up just so I could get to this high spot here. I'm on a really big rock at the very point of this mountain here. What a great spot. Um, but we came from that dark point over there. Um, made our way on roads all the way through here. Um, at one point we were down in the valley here and then we climbed all the way up. So um, covered quite a bit of ground this morning uh, trying to get up here and then it's been a really nice afternoon just to relax and sit around and look at everything. So you can kind of see that we're um, quite a ways out from anything else. There isn't a whole lot around us here. So I'm gonna sit up here for a little bit, um, see if we get a, a nice sun. So we're looking east here. We look back to this hill and this flat spot up here is where the early uh, settlers said that the Native Americans used to have big gatherings and uh, used to have big bonfires up there and who knows what went on, but uh, pretty cool spot. It was a lot of work to get up here with the bike and the trailer, um, but this is such a great area. What a pretty view. This is a great place to hang out up here. Just a beautiful uh, 
overlook. Usually the winter winds start up here in uh, late October and we have had some but uh, today it's just completely still. Couldn't be a nicer day up here. This is awesome. What a beautiful day. Well, I think I picked my spot here for the night. Um, this is a fairly level little area here. Got some nice rocks around me. And uh, this is a southern exposure here. So it's quite a bit warmer here than it is over on the other side of the hill here. So I think this will work for the night. I gotta get this area cleaned up and start setting up camp. I'm on top of these big rocks here that are just a little ways down from where I'm camping. Uh, next time I come sit up here, I'm gonna come a little bit further down, set up in this general area here, um, for the simple reason that the sunrise is gonna be right through there. That should be really amazing in the morning. So I'm gonna come climb up on these rocks as the sun's coming up and we'll, we'll see what we get here. So we're all set up here with the tent. Um, I've got an air mattress, a survival blanket, and then my zero degree uh, sleeping bag here. And uh, it should be good for the night. It's probably gonna get down in the 20s tonight. Uh, you know, about 25 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere right in that area. So it's gonna be a chilly night. Um, over here, I've got my trail camera set up. And with that, um, that's pointing over here at the camp. So if any wildlife comes through during the night, uh, we'll get some footage of that. Uh, this is definitely bear and uh, mountain lion country here. A lot of uh, uh, sightings of both of those in recent months. So there's a good chance that before I'm done, I'll, I'll see one, one or both of them. Um, bikes over here. Trailer did really well pulling everything up. I will be pulling my battery off of the uh, bike here and I'm gonna put it actually under my sleeping bag in the tent because um, I need to keep that from freezing. I don't want that to get below, oh, you know, 35 degrees or something. So if it's underneath my sleeping bag, down towards my feet, um, it should stay nice and warm for the night. So I'll pull that a little bit later. I don't want to wait too long because I don't want it to cool down too much. Um, but this area is really pretty. And we're at a time of the year where most of the snakes are uh, gone. They're hibernating, they're doing whatever they do for the winter. Let's look out over the side here. So we're looking south here. Um, sun's gonna set behind this hill over here in about two hours. So I've got plenty of time to get dinner ready and uh, do a general cleanup of the area here before uh, dark and all of that. It's getting dark really early these days. I wanna say 5.30. Might even be five o'clock. Over here I set up the spot where I'm gonna cook. So this will be my kitchen over here. I like to keep it away from the tent a ways um, just because of the, the big predators up here. If they're gonna come in and sniff around camp, 
I don't want them too close to my tent. Um, so I'll keep this stuff over here and then of course I'll uh, hang my food from one of these trees up here for the night. I'll pick something out in this direction since my camp's over here and uh, keep some distance between it and where I am. So uh, in a little bit here, another hour or so, I'm going to go ahead and start cooking and uh, we should be in good shape once uh, it gets dark. Alright, the sun's going down pretty quick here so I'm going to get uh, cooking. I've got spaghetti with meat sauce and I'm going to get some water boiling here and throw into pasta. You have to be very careful with flame here in the Colorado forest. There's been about a 20 year drought and having an open campfire um, outside of a fire ring is just not an option these days. So we've got real thick needles on the ground. Um, the duff's pretty thick here. This isn't too bad at this particular spot, but you get into some of the, the more wooded areas and it's about a foot deep or so. So a fire that gets started up here is really, really difficult to put out. And that's why I use these little tiny um, propane stoves with a real low flame so that there's no chance of anything catching up here. I've got some hamburger patties here that I'm gonna cook and break up and we're gonna make a meat sauce for the pasta. There we are, pretty much done. So for me personally, I don't think there's anything better than pasta with a meat sauce uh, when you've been out exerting and riding or hiking or that kind of thing. So I'm gonna go find a sunny spot and have my dinner. Okay, here we are with our nice pasta meat dinner here. And I've got one of these um, peach flavored sparkling waters to go with it. So this is a great spot and a really nice uh, meal here to have after after biking in. Before the temperature drops too much I'm gonna go around here and remove the battery from the e-bike. Um, I can't have it sitting out in uh, freezing temperatures. overnight so I'm gonna put it in the tent with me and I'll put it on top of my air mattress and under my um, under my sleeping bag in the tent and there we are Take my key back in just in case. But, uh, now we got the big battery here, and uh, before it gets too cold out here, I'm going to go ahead and put it under my sleeping bag. here and uh, my feet will keep that a lot warmer than it would be out there on the bike so that should work nicely I was just looking around and the elk are definitely in the area and then I walked over here and we've got something that was scratching here in the dirt recently throwing this, kicking this dirt up here. So not sure what that would have been, um, whether it was a bobcat or a mountain lion or a bear. Um, so I threw the my line up over this branch here. Um, we're quite a ways from my tent. I like to walk out and 
uh, make some distance here. But in this bag here is my breakfast. And since we don't have any beer boxes or any uh, really safe place to keep this, we're going to suspend it up here in the tree and hope that nobody gets to it overnight. So yeah, ready to climb into the tent and we'll have to see uh, if my battery's okay in the morning. Here's a nice shot of the moon. Here's the sunrise this morning. Um, there aren't a whole lot of clouds on the horizon, so we don't have too much color, um, but it is still pretty out here. So it turned out to be a really nice tonight. Um, it's a little breezy this morning, but um, so everything went well last night. We had a, a pretty cool night, probably in the 20s. Uh, right now it's probably about 30 degrees. Um, we did have some wind. You could hear it in the trees up above, uh, but down here at ground level, nothing moved. Everything was good. So I kept the uh, e-bike battery down here under my sleeping bag between my feet all night and that should have kept it nice and warm. I, I just felt it and it actually um, doesn't feel cold at all so that here's my food bag still in the tree so I'm going to go ahead and lower this and uh, get my breakfast out. Okay the first thing to make this morning is some hot coffee uh, get warmed up. The sun's coming up and it is really a, a pretty morning up here. I've got everything loaded back on to the trailer. Um, tent and bags and all of that stuff. So I've just got my cooking things to put back in uh, once I fix breakfast. So I've got a couple of eggs, some bacon, and uh, some hot coffee. Okay, I got my hot coffee and uh, my breakfast is cooking. And then we're going to go find a spot over in the sun to sit and eat. Um, pretty chilly here in the shade. The breeze is still blowing and we're probably still below freezing. Um, but it's a uh, really pretty morning up here. The, the light's really nice. So I didn't see any wildlife at all on this ridge. Um, it is the start of hunting season so everything's a little bit spooked. And uh, they may just be staying away. This is on the road out of here. You can see uh, the really big peaks back up here. The GoPro flattens everything out so it doesn't look nearly as uh, dramatic as it is. But it's a really uh, beautiful spot here. Looking west towards the uh, biggest peaks in Colorado here. So the trailer is pulling really well. Um, you do have to be careful with it on uh, slopes that are leaning side to side. Um, there's a potential that you could tip it over. Um, but so far, it's doing really well. I'm just real careful and go real slow. The trailer's following along nicely, but you really feel it on the downhills too. It pushes you down the hill, so you gotta go slow. I could see this uh, pushing a little too hard and you're getting out of control. I let off the brakes and the bike just takes off with that trailer pushing. There's a pretty area up here. It's so quiet. It's kind of a cool cabin there. Looks like it's been here quite a while. century mining camp up here.
All right, so this is what I carried on that trip, just to give you a sense of how much this trailer hauls and all, and what I normally carry. Um, got a shovel, uh, a sleeping pad, the tent. This is my huge cold weather sleeping bag. Um, this takes up a bunch of room. If I was uh, going out during normal warmer months, I'd take a bag that was half that size. Um, but I got to have this this time of year. Um, ground cloth, uh, kind of a sunshade. I take this trail camera just so that I can put that on the camp and see what wanders through during the night and all of that. Um, these are my cooking supplies here. This is like a, a little French press uh, coffee maker. So that's nice to have. You just um, put coffee grounds in the bottom before you leave and then just add hot water and you've got your coffee. A real easy way to do that. Um, the propane stove. These little bottles actually last a really long time. So I can use those for several outings. Um, survival blanket, the red. A big, huge tarp here. Um, this one's camouflage in case I want to do like some stealth camping. Um, normally, I would set this up, especially in the wintertime, as a wind block over the top of my tent, stirring it between trees and all that. And if it's going to be lousy weather, also it gives you a place to uh, sit out in front of the tent and, and cook and that kind of thing. And uh, camera gear. This bag here normally is. Uh, filled with my food right now it's empty because i ate everything i took with me um but that's that's what i carry in there and then uh miscellaneous straps and bungees and that kind of thing so uh, that's it um a lot of stuff in there everything that i need definitely for an overnight um i could probably just with the addition of more food make this into a two or three day um camping supply here so uh worked nicely yeah this little trailer worked great and uh, didn't have any issues with it at all you definitely feel the uh, weight behind you when you're hauling and all that but uh, really not bad at all so that is it and if i didn't show the inside before that's kind of the rubberized lining that is inside this canvasy fabric and uh feels like it'll hold up real well so uh hey thanks for watching appreciate it uh kind of a fun uh overnight and uh, a real pretty spot there so see you on the next one